Hello, and welcome to Military X-Force channel. Before we begin, be sure to give us a like, as it really helps our channel grow and beat the algorithm. In this video, we will explore what facial recognition is, how it works, and what are some of the benefits and challenges of using it. Facial recognition is a way of identifying or confirming an individual's identity using their face. Facial recognition systems can be used to identify people in photos, videos, or in real time. Facial recognition is a category of biometric security, which means using physical or behavioral characteristics to verify someone's identity. Other forms of biometric security include voice recognition, fingerprint recognition, and eye retina or iris recognition. Facial recognition technology has many applications in various fields, such as security, law enforcement, healthcare, education, entertainment, and social media. For example, Facial recognition can be used to unlock your phone or laptop with your face, access secure areas or buildings with your face, verify your identity for online transactions or services with your face, find missing or wanted people with facial databases, diagnose diseases or conditions with facial analysis, enhance learning outcomes with facial feedback, create personalized experiences with facial recognition, share and tag photos with your friends on social media, but how does facial recognition technology work? How can a machine recognize a human face? Let's look at the basic steps involved in facial recognition. Step 1. Face Detection The first step is to detect and locate the image of a face, either alone or in a crowd. The image may show the person looking straight ahead or in profile. The face detection software scans the image and looks for features that indicate the presence of a face, such as the eyes, nose, mouth, and chin. The software then draws a bounding box around the face to isolate it from the rest of the image. Step 2. Face Analysis The next step is to analyze the face and extract its features. Most facial recognition technology relies on 2D rather than 3D images because it can more conveniently match a 2D image with public photos or those in a database. The software reads the geometry of your face and identifies the key landmarks that distinguish your face from others. These landmarks include the distance between your eyes, the depth of your eye sockets, the width of your nose, the shape of your cheekbones, and the contour of your lips, ears, and chin. Step 3. Converting the image to data. The third step is to convert the image of the face into data that can be processed by a computer. The software transforms the facial features into a numerical code called a face print. This code is unique to each person and represents their facial structure. The face print is like a fingerprint or a DNA profile in that it can be used to identify an individual. Step 4. Finding a match. The final step is to compare the face print with a database of known faces and find a match. The database can contain millions or even billions of images from various sources, such as government records, social media platforms, or surveillance cameras. The software measures the similarity between the face print and the images in the database and returns the most likely matches along with a confidence score or an accuracy score. The score indicates how confident the system is that the match is correct. As you can see, facial recognition technology is based on complex algorithms and large amounts of data. But how accurate is it? And what are some of the factors that affect its performance? Facial recognition technology has improved significantly over the years and has achieved high levels of accuracy in some scenarios. For example, according to a report by NIST, some of the top performing facial recognition systems had an error rate of less than 0.2% when matching faces from high quality mugshots or visa photos. However, facial recognition technology is not perfect and still faces some challenges and limitations. Some of these challenges include variations in lighting, pose, expression, occlusion, aging, makeup, glasses, hats, masks, etc. Bias and discrimination based on race, gender, age, ethnicity, etc. Privacy and ethical concerns regarding consent, data protection, surveillance, etc. Legal and regulatory issues regarding standards, policies, laws, etc. These challenges pose some questions for us as users and consumers of facial recognition technology. How do we ensure that facial recognition technology is fair and accurate for everyone? How do we protect our privacy and personal data from misuse or abuse? 
How do we balance security and convenience with human rights and civil liberties? How do we regulate and oversee the development and deployment of facial recognition technology? These are some of the questions that we need to think about as we interact with facial recognition technology in our daily lives. Facial recognition technology has many benefits and potentials, but also many risks and challenges. It is up to us to decide how we want to use it and what kind of future we want to create with it. Facial recognition technology can be a threat to our privacy and civil liberties. It allows governments and corporations to track, monitor, and profile us without our knowledge or consent. It can be used to create mass surveillance systems that violate our human rights and undermine our democracy. It can also be used to manipulate our behavior and preferences through targeted advertising or social engineering. Facial recognition technology is prone to errors and biases that can harm innocent people. It can misidentify or fail to identify people based on their race, gender, age, ethnicity, or other factors. These errors and biases can lead to false accusations, wrongful arrests, discrimination, or exclusion. Facial recognition technology is not regulated or accountable enough. There are no clear standards, policies, laws, or oversight mechanisms for the development and deployment of facial recognition technology. There are also no clear mechanisms for the redress or remedy for the victims of facial recognition technology. This creates a lack of transparency, accountability, and responsibility for the use and abuse of facial recognition technology. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts and opinions on facial recognition technology. See you next time.